Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. Isle of Scale, headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Society. As Ark patrons, you are welcome to explore the castle grounds. However, certain areas are off limits, including the keep, which houses the members' area, convention space, and council meeting. Should you wish to apply for Ark membership, please be aware that such cannot be bought, only earned. All said? Excellent. Follow me, please. So, what do you think? Well, you weren't kidding. This place is pretty epic. 
Where are we anyway? Not sure. Some old knightly stronghold. The architects are around for ideation purposes, but tonight's the only time the rest of us get together. So, you decide on what to buy from the catalogue. One of the bargains. ceremony scheduled to take place in the upper courtyard. Phoenix ceremony. It symbolizes the collapse of civilization from which the Ark Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah, rebirth. I get Interesting. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony symbolizing the downfall of civilization from which the Ark Society will emerge unscathed. Apparently, a giant phoenix-shaped effigy is set on fire with Zoe inside it. Well, I suggest you locate this master of ceremonies who lights the Fire 47. If this doesn't sound like an accident waiting to happen, I don't know what does. What's new is that the master of ceremonies will light the effigy on fire with Zoe Washington inside it. Huh. A bit showy, wouldn't you say? Hey, whatever sells. I would like to file a complaint about the locking mechanism for the trap door on the Phoenix effigy. Yeah, this thing is... Excuse me? I need you to drop what you're doing and come take a look at the hydraulic lock for the Phoenix effigy. 
I don't know what kind of hack slapped this thing together, but we're basically a small shift in pressure away from the Wicker Man here. I know what you're gonna say. Stop being a busybody. But this is serious. Call me when you get this. Girlfriend thinks I'm seeing someone else because of all the cloak and dagger shit. I tried to explain to her that I signed this crazy NDA and that I couldn't tell her anything even if I wanted to. She just looked at me and said, oh, come on. Hey, did you put your money in an offshore account? Like I told you, you should think about it. These guys in the Cayman Islands are really clever, man. If you do this right, you don't need to worry about money ever again.
You want to holster that? You do it. Seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. Me? You're the master of ceremony. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. I never go on the spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plays. No, no, spectacle. What if people hate it? Shit, they won't hate it, Mr. Feniger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? But what have I done? Did I never talk me into this? Did I tell Miss Washington and Wolfie going on stage? Everyone's waiting for you. Go on, no. No, she's right, huh? All is cool, all is cool. Yes! Mr. Fenner, excellent. The crowd was How starting today, to get sir? restless. Your peers are waiting by the stage, and the torch is ready by the money. A handsome pledge, and yet, a drop in the ocean.
stage, Axel. It's just a job. Glad the spirit, Mr. Fenninger. Let's go. In your own time. is starting to get restless. Your peers are waiting by the stage, and the torch is ready by the money pit. Well, your evening's going well. Christ. Ready when you are. Some pledge, and yet a drop in the ocean. Washington. The Ark Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud, be fearless, for the future is ours to shape. Evening. Looking sharp, sir. Look at you, Fenniger. All dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Light her up.
As the world burns, we rise from its ashes. Not just to survive, but to live. Civilizations were so great. How come they're all dead? Because we represent the new pinnacle of mankind. So I say it's only fair that we give them something. Montezuma himself. It was lost for over 500 years well, until Blake Nathaniel unsealed the serpent's tomb. Extraordinary. It's a living necklace. Anyway, the Washington twins found it first. The way I hear it, Sophia literally has the necklace in her hand when Nathaniel repels from the ceiling, triggers this ancient death trap, and, you know, murder and mayhem ensues. But I thought those two were lovers. On no, and no, off. No currently way off, which explains the added security. I don't follow. Think about it. Why the need for an alarm system? We're all filthy rich. Except... Ah, I see. Blake thinks Sophia might try and steal back the necklace before it's sealed in the Ark of the Legacy. Good grief. I want her among thieves, huh? I'll say. Alarm sensors. You'll need to disable the system to get at the necklace, 47. Ah, oh, look at this. This should make a fine addition to the Ark Legacy. Good to see plenty of security here.
gossip? You're on. Have a good evening, sir. Yeah, man, you're looking jacked. Council meeting. You know what it's about? Climate change. Sophia Washington is trying to persuade Janus's oh. original five. Yeah, sorry, man. It's a no-go. Chance. The original five are all energy. Have one broken. The fuse box. And I know what I'm doing. Come on, how hey, do you read me? Over? Can you go see what Got that was? Okay. Something's going on. Whoa, They've come a long way in medical science today. Um uh I'm sure they can save me. Son of a bitch. Hell, I don't know. Someone creepy, I guess. Oh, isn't that just... <sighs> command, please acknowledge. Come in, command. Command. Victim couldn't give a description of the per... Betrayer. We're hunting blind. God damn it. Of course, what they fail to realize is how That's him, the constant, Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing him alive. And unless you're on a strict polar bear diet, sieges are out of the Greetings, question. Sir. Yes, very good. Anything else? Others express concern about political interference. Plenty of nations have a stake in the Arctic and Greenland as part of the Danish realm. Some members are reluctant to invest millions only to get caught up in some kind of... Ah, 
Here's something, 47. According to this email thread, Sophia Washington has recruited one of the architects in a plan to discredit the Constant. Sounds promising. Interesting. The poison chip in the Constant's neck was designed by a Kronstadt engineer, a Mr. Marek Sinclair, who also works for the Ark Society. Apparently, Sophia wants Sinclair to approach the Constant and offer to remove the chip. If the Constant takes the bait, Sophia can prove to the Providence partners that their top controller is not to be trusted. Hmm. Sounds promising. I suggest you head over to the conference space, see if you can't locate Mr. Sinclair. Forty-seven. Olivia is trying to locate Mr. Sinclair's cell number. See if we can't contact him directly. Stand by. I really think we should push for that tinted UV dome. Is it weird to say I'm looking forward to the end of the world? Because I think maybe I am. There. We have Sinclair's number. Making the call now. Keep your eyes peeled, 47. Nonsense. Anyone who signs on for this has clearly been watching too many movies. What I heard is that some of the true believers are funding a vault for Janice's remains. Can you imagine that? Our great leader is alive. for maintenance at the Hyperborean mission. Yes, good evening. Apart from surviving the collapse, it would be a chance for me and Annie to get a fresh start. Hey, did I miss the keynote? so. Oh, shoot. I really wanted to learn more about the Titan project. I so want to transfer teams. Building a bloody space colony. Oh, I hear you. What if I reveal? What's the worst that can happen? Sophia fires me? I'm still Kronstadt's chief technical designer, and I don't even believe in the collapse. Yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, I'll be just Nothing? fine. Nothing? Hmm. I'll keep on calling Sinclair until you have a visual. I'm just saying, if you're preparing for complete global collapse with a bunker in your backyard and a bunch of MREs, you're not seeing the whole picture. Sometimes I can't tell if you're trying to talk me into spending all my money or stealing it in the If I had the money, I'd set up all the minute ago. inner ring places. Right. I'm on to you, lady. Good night. Oh, no. yeah, I mean, I'm sure the outer edges would be fine. But if I had that kind of money, I'd want the yes. best of them. And they ask I me mean, why I'm not a people person. Huh. It looks like the building material is a new type of nanocrystalline material. It's super strong, flexible, and it has photovoltaic qualities as well. This is highly impressive. The thing I am a little worried about is the daylight issue. I read somewhere that people go mad when it never gets dark. I really think we should... Uh -huh. Ah, Miss Washington. I forgot to tell you before, the before what? a few of the more prominent uh, art members were not no as to zone. how three I'm of the top Hyperborean suites you sure you've got were the right already occupied, occupied, considering how the yeah, bid hasn't see, even opened yet. That's not mine. In fact, Do the same thing like appears to have been the case with the core suites in the stronghold facility. Good night. Who is getting first pick, Madam Chairwoman? Ah, yes. Well, some questions are best left unanswered. This is why I need voice, ma'am. Carry on. Ma'am? It all just feels sort of quaint. If you want to bomb, do a little research into pandemics. Some of the vulnerabilities in so-called modern sanitation practices... Sinclair! Boom. Oh, seriously. What do I think okay. about it? I hear you. Charles but Blake III? Who the heck's that? Major strike could have oh, for heaven's life. sakes. I live I'm in California, not, not Vermont. A good night to you, ma'am. Geological bullseyes. Ugh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I feel horrible. Sure. 
Our parents were afraid of the Weird. Parents, but I think I'm just okay. saying if you're preparing for complete global collapse with a Are you going to be okay? Oh man, I hope it is not contagious. I just got over something from South America. Some bird flu shit. Just relax your throat. Don't fight it. You gotta let it all out. All out. Everything needs to go. Good evening to you. Shit, don't look. If I have... What about crop growth? Go and check it out. Come on, go. No problem. Great. Our parents were afraid of the missiles, but I think we both know that if it happens, there'll be some other element at play. Something even you can't predict. Okay, I hear you. But consider the cascade that even one major strike could have if it was well placed. I'm not talking about the Damn, this feels wrong. I got a bad case of the butterflies. Maybe I can... Kronstadt designer in charge of the brain upload program? Sure. What did he do? I don't know. Figures. But he's real interested in this invention of something called Shit! Some prick act- Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant.
Mr. Gray, what's your status? In position. You did your part, 47. Now head for an exit. Leave the constant to me. I'm just saying, if you're preparing for complete global collapse with a bunker in your backyard and a bunch of MREs, you're not seeing the whole picture. I would have said the same thing a few years ago, but... Sophia! Look, honey, the devil. I don't care you're how much titanium you've got stored in your home. Tell us that it's crazy story you told me with the wolves. That's Sinclair, all right. And those are the blueprints for the poison chip. Should come in handy. Evening. I suppose. No robe, no mask. Which rank are you? Oh, I'm more of an outside observer. Mr. Name's Sinclair. I'm chief technical designer at Kronstadt Industries. The name rings a bell. 
Here, I think it might interest you. What's this? I think you know. The chip in your neck is my design, which means I can override it for a price. Most interesting. Meet me at the tower and be discreet. We can't be seen together. Always am. Mr. Sinclair, I'm listening. Don't. In fact, forget all I said. Excuse me? This wasn't my idea. Sophia Washington. She's the one who told me to approach you. It's all a trap. Go on. I never asked why. I just went along because she's the boss. And you're telling me this now? Why? Let's just say I don't like to get my hands dirty. I see. Thank you for your candor, Mr. Sinclair. You have been most helpful. Hang on for a moment. Sophia, I need to see you at the tower. I'm sure you are and no, it can't. Nicely done, 47. This should put Sophia firmly in the doghouse. I am sorry you got dragged into this. Sophia is spectacularly ambitious. Unfortunately, like most people of her elk, she lacks humility and a sense of station. And who are you, exactly? A humble advisor. Nothing more. Power without responsibility. Nothing humble about that. Hmm. All right, I'm here. Are you gonna tell me what's so damn important? Ah, Sophia. I believe you know Mr. Sinclair. We've met. What of it? <sighs> I don't blame you for trying, Sophia. Just for failing. Upstairs. Now. You made a big mistake, Sinclair. This won't be going away. Sir, hello. I'm sorry, sir. Not even architects are allowed back here. <clears throat> your business with the Master has concluded, Mr. Sinclair. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Because the partners noticed you that you 
have their trust. Their job. You don't even know their names. And yet, you're the one with a poison chip in your neck, and I'm the one holding the trigger. You? They gave it to you. Ouch. That's gotta sting. I mean, the constant is like the voice of God, right? Only he speaks for the partners. Surely they wouldn't dream of undermining his authority. Only the partners are old school, aren't they? They recognize class, pedigree, birds of a feather, and all that. And you? You look middle class. You carry the stick of public transportation. And while you have spent decades climbing the corporate ladder, me and Zoe, we've got ourselves a private elevator and it goes straight to the top. Don't fool yourself, Sophia. They may use you to punish me, but you're a tool, nothing more. Now this pathetic ruse only shows me how much you have yet to learn. I've said my piece. We're done here, boss. Um, what do you think you're doing? You don't belong here. Someone stop! Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to the harbor where it's less crowded. You can hijack one of the Archean boats. Question is how? He's not likely to come quietly. Evening, sir. Unless you get your hands on a kill switch. Yes, that might just work. Search so one of the twins, 47. Bet you could make the constant come quietly. Good thinking, 47. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves, no signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture, you have his eyes. You're Burnwood's assassin. Move. Partners no more, I take it. I had a notion something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you, I wonder? Just keep walking.
You're Blake Nathaniel, right? But uh, if you don't mind me asking, since I've been searching for the cloud circle, something's worth it. Don't mind me, sir. Well, to cut a long story short, it began with a Portuguese galleon that salvaged off the coast of Costa Rica. One of the long dead sailors had attacked the ship. For what it's worth, Jane has always found Old Meyer's project distasteful, not to mention inefficient. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Oh, I know. Take it, this is not an ICA sanctioned operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Move there, buddy. You're trespassing. That was it, sir. You're free to go. Move along. I take it this is Excuse not an me, ICA sanctioned yeah, operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Violating her own code. She's doing it for us. Us? I went to this party. Oh, I see. The penny drops. I should have known. How does a man leave no trace? By not existing in the first place. Lucas Gray. Or was it Subject Six? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you want the partners, the men behind the curtain that have caused you all this pain? Well, before you go knocking down a wall, you better make sure it's not load-bearing. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? 
when I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable.